All right, guys, welcome back to another Chrysalanius YouTube video. We are here at uh, Frisbee Park. It's close by to where I live. And uh, we did a quick raid. As you can see, I won over there. Um, we did an Absol. And uh, needless to say, because of that raid, we got a pretty cool shiny Pokemon. So I've already re recorded this video. Um, I have to redo it because of some lighting issues, some noise things. Uh, so that's why I'm over here now. But while I was recording earlier, <laughs> we opened up a shiny Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and place that clip right here so you guys can see what fire we are starting out this video with. Let's get ready for this shiny check. Hopefully we can get a purple, I think he's more red, a red Absol. 1422 is the CP we're going to see on this guy. And what do we get? No. No shiny Absol. All right, that is A-OK. -okay. We got some other tasks we need to go ahead and check as well. We had two winner raids that we were sitting on, so each of those will reward us a Bronzor encounter that can be shiny. And Bronzor is one of those Pokemon that is perma-boosted or has perma-boosted shiny, shiny rates, meaning, um, oh, Quillfish check. No meaning basically that he has a higher chance of being shiny. So uh, let's go ahead and start with some of those. Can we get a shiny on the first one? Oh my gosh, guys, we did it. All right, shiny Bronzor, very cool, very cool. All right, guys, so as you saw in that video, um, I did end up getting a shiny Bronzor, which is permo boosted. Um, meaning it has a higher chance of being shiny than some other Pokemon. So we did uh, jump in that Absol raid hoping for a shiny Absol, but we had two win a raid uh, task stored. And uh, <laughs> the very first one we opened was the shiny Bronzor. So I do use Bronzor in the PvP Baby League, so if that ever comes back, I want to make sure I have a shiny that makes sense to be using because the one I currently have, well, it's good, it is not shiny and you know we gotta flex those shinies so let's take a look at his stats real quick um, he has a two star his attack is a little high but I think that is pretty comparable to the one we've been using um, right here boom the attacks a lot better on this but the uh, HP and defense on that other one we got here um, are a little bit higher so I'm gonna take a closer look at this later. This might be our new PVP Pokemon when Baby League returns. But with that out of the way, um, this park is a quailfish nest. As you guys can see, there's two here. Um, they're spawning more randomly than sitting at stops. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, and we're gonna see if we can go down that way and go ahead and get some catch five water type Pokemon test to see if we can get a shiny Goldeen, which we did have a shiny check earlier in the video um, that I pre-recorded, but that was not shiny either, so not showing that to you guys. Uh, but the reason I'm here making this video is because we already got updates for December and what we can expect. So let's take a quick look at some of those things. All right, guys, so we are looking at Pokemon Go Live's uh, blog where they update us on everything going on. So we got the December 2020 events. Let's see. So there's going to be a change up with the Megas. There's going to be a change up with our legendary raid boss. So uh, obviously I do these videos to keep you guys informed on what's going on, what you can do to stay up to date with the Pokemon Go. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so I can give you guys some information on how you can prep for each and every event coming in Pokemon Go. So let's get started. December Research Breakthrough. This one's gonna be a little interesting. Uh, starting December 1st at 1 p.m. until Friday, January 1st at 1 p.m., trainers will have a chance of encountering either Lapras or Unovan Darumaka, which is the regular Darumakan form, or Darumaka form. So uh, Darumaka, Darumaka obviously cannot be shiny, but we will be getting Lapras in Research Breakthrough boxes, which at this point, most people have a Lapras, but not everybody has the shiny, and even if you have the shiny, you want another one. So hopefully this Lapras has Ice Beam. I don't think it will, but if it does, that's more of a reason to go ahead and 
uh, try and take advantage of those breakthrough boxes. So the other one is you know Vendaramaka, which is a great Pokemon to have. Um, his second stage is a great fire attacker for raids if you don't have one. And then the legendary Pokemon we're going to be getting um, to replace the Lake Trio is going to be Curam. Unfortunately, there's no mention of a shiny variant available at this point. Um, he will be joining us December 1st as well at 1 p.m., available until January 1st at 1 p.m., similar to the changes in the research breakthrough box. All right. In addition to um, Curam joining us in those research bo breakthrough box changes, Mega Obama Snow will be appearing in Mega Raids beginning Tuesday, December 1st at 1 p.m. Mega Blastoise, Charizard Y, Mega Pidgeot, and Mega Houndoom will all be leaving Mega Raids. So if you are interested in any of those, um, now's your chance to try and grind and get a couple more in. Remember, you can get the shiny variant of those Pokemon, um, even though it's like the second or third stage. So you can get a shiny Houndoom from the Mega Raids. So just keep that in mind. Mega Obama Snow is going to be joining us for this, um, which is going to be awesome. He's one of the first Ice Megas that we've seen in Pokemon Go. And then Mega Charizard X, uh, Mega Gengar, and Mega Obama Snow are going to be the main Megas available in Raid, all of which can be shiny. So definitely grind some of those Megas. I don't really do the Megas that often, but I think I'm going to do a couple of the Mega Obama Snows because that seems like a really cool one to be having um, added to the game right now. So let's go over the Pokemon Go Spotlight Hours for December. What can we expect? December 1st, Seal will be in the spotlight and you'll earn twice the XP for evolving Pokemon. So Seal's great for PvP. He's a little bit of a tank and he's got that ice move set. I've seen a lot of him. I've seen a lot of Dugong and the shiny is a nice gold shiny. So you guys might want to keep your eye out for that. For the XP for evolving Pokemon, Obviously, the grind for level 40 is real right now with the um, the need to be at level 40 before the end of December. So this is one way you can try and maximize your EXP and uh, break that up. You want to try and use a lucky egg if you have those um, and store about 30 to 60 Pokemon that you can just evolve back to back if you're not interested in the shiny seal. So Tuesday, December 8th, Swinub will be in the spotlight and you'll earn twice the Stardust for catching Pokemon. Obviously, drop your star piece. That's how you're going to be able to maximize on this spotlight hour. Swinub is available shiny and it is great. Um, he is one of those Pokemon that does have a community day move. Uh, there is a chance that he will be able to get that move with December's community day event, which they have not announced yet. So if you do not have a good ice type or a good mammo swine this is your opportunity to catch up with that so i know i'm going to be doing more of the um more of this one um, i'm not going to focus too heavy on the stardust but i need a shiny swine nub i need a good one i need a team of them basically and then tuesday december 15th a surprise pokemon will be in the spotlight and you're you'll earn twice the candy for catching pokemon so guys for this one i'd recommend using your meltan box instead uh, your incense it'll act as an incense and it'll get rid of the regular spawns the surprise pokemon hasn't officially been released but um, some data miners are theorizing that it's a pikachu with a hat so if you are interested in the pikachu with a hat obviously go chase that shiny if that's what you're into if you don't really care about collecting the pikachus with the hats um, obviously wait and double check right before this spotlight hour because it will be released which pokemon it is um, as that comes closer but if it is the pikachu um, and that's not something you're interested in uh, meltan does take 400 candies to evolve and this would be a prime time to maximize the twice catch candy bonus um, december 22nd snow runt will be in the spotlight and you'll earn twice the candy for transferring pokemon this is going to be fantastic guys this is the one i wait for every month the double candy transfer you save your legendaries for this day your dinos that you've already traded and re-rolled um, all your rare pokemon that you just don't want to part ways with um, this is the best way to uh, clear up some storage and get a little bit of extra out of it and then uh snow Runt can be shiny i don't think he's very good in a um 
in any PvP or anything like that, but he can be shiny, and uh, you know, you want to be able to evolve in the Frostless. And I think only the female snow runts can evolve into Frostless. So I need a female shiny snow runt so I can get that shiny. So um, I'm going to mark some of them transfer ahead of time. Quick transfer them with the first couple minutes. And then I'm going to go chase that shiny snow runt. Then uh, December 29th, Snover will be appearing in the spotlight. And you'll earn twice the experience for evolving Pokemon. So uh, Snover, Snover is a great shiny. If you don't have a good one, you don't want to do the Mega Raids, um, I'm sure Mega Obama Snow Energy will be in the um, research task. And uh, if you need a good Snowvor, this is going to be the day to get your Snowvor. And you can get the Shiny as well. If you want to skip all of that together, just work on the XP, throw up a Lucky Egg, start evolving some Pokemon. Best way to do it. So I'm really glad to see that we're actually getting uh, every Spotlight Hour has Shiny potential. Uh, you know obviously for some of these bonuses you have to pick do you want to do the bonus or do you want to focus on the catching but so many more shiny opportunities i love it all right guys so i'm super excited about all of those spotlight hours i really like uh that there's an awesome bonus for each of them and now all of them have shiny potential in the past we normally have one or two a month that had no shiny potential that were just a waste of time um, they did help us focus on the bonus so now it's more of a decide whether you want to focus on the bonus or chasing the shiny but um, i love the fact that there's so many new shiny potentials here i love the spotlight hours um, i have missed the last two because i've had family engagements but hopefully i can you know participate in more of these and they look like they are all awesome. I love that they're all ice type basically for this month. And then uh, the double catch XP bonus ends on Thursday, December 31st, 11.59 p.m. So they've been doing basically a double catch XP. Um, it actually says so right here. As part of our huge Go Beyond update in December, we'll be increasing the level cap to 50. To help trainers level up during this time, a double catch XP bonus has been live since Wednesday, November 14th at 1 p.m. and it'll stay effective until Thursday, December 31st, 2020 at 11.59 p.m. So guys, until the very end of December, you are going to have double catch experience. So this is the best time to, um, you know, grind as much as you can to get to level 40. Obviously the goal is to be level 40 before the end of December. I'm already there, but I have to grind the XP anyway <laughs> because of the crazy XP requirements for each of the levels above 40. So I'm going to be working on that a little bit and they're going to be doing some other things that I wanted to really quickly touch on. They're going to be changing some of how you can manage your Pokemon in the storage. They're going to make it easier to tag Pokemon with other general search options. Pokemon tagging will allow you to create different colored tags, apply them to Pokemon, and use them to filter Pokemon in your collection. The Pokemon search function will be updated to allow for enhanced usability. When you tap into the search bar, a new screen will appear with recommended search, ter search, ter with recommended search terms such as Pokemon type, region, buddy, level, shiny, and more. So when you are in your Pokemon storage and you're trying to see what's your most recent shiny, what's your, have you caught any new four stars, um, they're going to start recommending searches that you can do that will hopefully save you some time. So I'm glad to see that they're trying to make searching for Pokemon um, easier. And it sounds like with those colored tags, um, if you're trying to organize something a certain way and they don't have that filter, you can customize it, put the tag on each Pokemon, and then create your own kind of search function. And then you'd probably search by whatever color tag it would be. So I don't know exactly what that's going to look like but I think it's gonna be a good push. So with that being said, guys, lots of great things coming to Pokemon Go. Lots of great shiny chances we're gonna have. Uh, the new Mega Obama Snow is gonna be awesome. Uh, Kyurem should be shiny, but he's not. So, Quillfish check, not shiny. All right, so everybody can grind, uh, try and get to level 50 or level 40 before the end of the year, obviously. There's a lot of opportunity to do so. And, uh, you know, good luck with your grinding. I hope you guys get there. 
I hope there's some shinies out there for you. Uh, I can't wait to see what December's Community Day is going to be. At this time, guys, I'd recommend you go through your Pokemon, see which Pokemon have exclusive moves that they get only during Evolving during Community Day, whether it be 2018 or 2017 or 2020, whatever year it is. Get those Pokemon, label them Community Day, Sea Day, whatever makes sense for you, and prepare because usually they do a two-day Community Day for December, and a lot of times it's one of the previous years you can evolve any of the community day pokemon and still get their exclusive move so you want to prepare some of the pokemon that you've been holding off like if you have a rhyhorn that you want to evolve into or i'm sorry a rhydon that you want to evolve into rhyperior but you want rock wrecker um, start storing those and filter their names you know put calm day on them so you know um, on that new december community day you can go in you can type in c day or whatever filter you choose and evolve all these Pokemon at once so you get those exclusive moves and you don't have to use your elite charged or fast TMs. Additionally during this time if it is similar to the other 20 the other wrap up of the year community day events um, you're gonna be seeing all the Pokemon from the previous year in the spotlight so if you missed any of these calm days or didn't do any didn't do really well this is going to be your opportunity to get a good one to get a shiny to get whatever you're looking for so with that guys i wish you luck i wish you luck chasing those shinies i hope you guys are able to get to level 40 and uh i will see you in the next video